Well, hi everybody, it's time for your Farm and Ranch News. And regardless what season we're in, the two most important things on the minds of farmers and ranchers every single day of each year, weather, and markets. And with us on today's program to talk about the market side of every ag operation is Jim Bauer with Bauer Trading. And Jim, let's talk about the most recent cattle on feed report and how the numbers shook out there and what it means for markets. Russell, I think there was absolutely nothing wrong with the cattle on feed report from a producer's standpoint. These supply situations and supply numbers, they remain very interesting, very, very tight actually. Uh, the inventory number at 105, pretty much in line with trade expectations. Uh, placements at 103, actually a little bit below market expectations. And marketings at 104, a little bit better uh, than expectations. It did show a little bit weight grouping negativity towards the, maybe the August contract, maybe. But this cattle market, as you and I have talked, it remains strong. Uh, it remains in essentially a very vibrant market. Mm -hmm. uh, hamburger prices are staying mm -hmm. strong. Uh, the question I think out ahead is probably demand. Now as you talk about one of the other issues that we're watching, fuel prices, whether you're an on-the-ground producer or a consumer out there, how are these rising gasoline and diesel fuel prices affecting things like meat demand at the case at the grocery store? That, that, that's the issue. Uh, right now I'm keeping a chart uh, of the price of gasoline versus meat prices and the very day that gasoline went four dollars and over in Chicago that's when the cattle market essentially made it stop and drifted down the one thing Russell that this market will not handle in my opinion uh, including just about all commodities is if this fuel price and distillate price keeps escalating up towards that four fifty five dollar mark th the market simply cannot have it people just don't have the extra money available when gasoline gets extremely high some very good advice. Of course, we've been talking about the livestock side of our business. Stay with us. We'll talk about the grain side right after this. All right, continuing our discussion today with Jim Bauer. Now, Jim, we were talking about the cattle market before the break. Let's talk about the wheat market because we do have some definite weather concerns across the board. In, in the central and southern plains, we have drought. In the winter wheat country up here in the northern plains, we have too much rain. How's that affecting the markets? Russell, it's unusual to have a weather market in the month of April, early May, but that's really what we have. We have client base down in Texas, and the situation there, particularly around Waco, is extremely mm -hmm. bad. Uh, I, just, I was just down there. It's extremely dry and, and brittle and, and really causing problems there for that wheat crop. As you come further into the central part, not too bad. Things look relatively good there. And then, of course, up here in the northern plains, some areas are okay, but as you move, especially towards northeast Montana, into Minnesota and the, and the, the Dakotas, they, they, they're really becoming quite concerned about getting that spring wheat crop planted. So the next two to four weeks, in my opinion as a trader, are extremely important to price discovery, not only from a U.S. standpoint, but from an international standpoint too, where there are some, also some weather problems, particularly in the North China Plains and in parts of Spain, France, and England. So you've got a weather situation worldwide. And in the time remaining, you said it's, we also have to be on the lookout for that old friend inflation. Well, I really don't like what's happening in the value of the dollar. The dollar's thinking about a percent point per week. That's causing our, our inflation here to be exported overseas. That's okay for a while, but certainly that creates a very high degree of uncertainty worldwide. Inflation creeps into the markets. And, and again, I think it's very important that the, that the dollar finally stabilizes. All right. Well, thanks for stopping by. Thank you, Russell. All right. Jim Bauer with Bauer Trading.